the effect of the turning tide can be totally different on a rocking shore. Here on the coast of Vancouver Island in Canada, the sun bakes the exposed rock. It's virtually impossible to dig underground when the sea retreats, so these mussels and barnacles are fully exposed to the heat of the sun, literally cooking in their own shells. And the seaweed simply dry to a crisp. It can be a wait of many hours before the water returns. Throughout each month, the size and strength of the tide changes. The biggest tides of all happen when the gravities of the sun and moon pull in unison. That happens immediately after the new moon. And again, after the full moon. These are called the spring tides. They reveal vast tracts of seabed that would normally be covered. For these raccoons, it's a chance to look for a seafood feast. The mother ventures forth with her kits. With the spring tide, they've come further down the beach than smaller tides would normally allow. Searching with their extraordinarily sensitive paws, they look for suitable prey. With the extreme low tide, they could find something special. And what could be better than a red rock crab? That is, if it weren't for the risk of a painful pinch. With large crabs, there's no substitute for experience. The mother makes an expert's catch. But the kits learn fast. And for those that don't, begging is always worth a try. All too soon, the returning tide will cover the raccoon's table. For all the invertebrates, it's a welcome relief. But in rough weather, they are exposed to the worst of the waves.